Miriam Shomrath is Israel's number one representative in Norway, serving as Israel's ambassador in Oslo. But sometimes even diplomats have a short fuse. Shomrath decided to condemn the royal family in an interview after a shooting attack on the Oslo synagogue carried out from a car driven by extremist Muslims last week. Not one word of condemnation was uttered by the royal family. I think a gesture from the royal household towards the Jewish community on the eve of New Year would have been in place anyway. Certainly a show of solidarity after the incident of the shooting the previous Sunday would have been in place. According to some reports, Shomrat's life was in danger. The group of extremists that perpetrated the attack also planned to reproduce the Baghdad scenes in Oslo to kidnap the Israeli ambassador and cut her head off. Shomrat hints that some of the responsibility can be relayed on the former Norwegian premier. It contributes to a certain uh, defamation of Israel. And then we shouldn't be surprised that such criminals as the ones who have been caught now are trying to, to, to do what, uh, what, they are, what they have planned to be doing. Now both Norway's premier and foreign minister are at loggerheads with our ambassador. Likewise, members of the Jewish community would have preferred that she didn't make such waves. Jeg opplever at det blir en sånn sammenblanding av at folk lurer på, er vi israelske borgere, norske borgere, hvem? The foreign ministry announced that the ambassador had no intention to offend anyone and that her words were misinterpreted. It's unclear whether these displays of anger, emitted by former ambassador to Sweden, or the unpleasant commentaries of our ambassador in Norway, will do much for Israel in its attrition amongst Scandinavia's public opinion.